uh, this video is about creating the Android virtual device aka the emulator okay so uh, you should be seeing this no devices right so you can click on AVD manager Android virtual device manager or you can come to tools here and choose Android virtual device manager all right okay so click on it right so we want to create one virtual device all right so uh, Android Studio okay can can be used to create Android apps that run on tablets mobile phone uh, smart watches television uh, Android uh, cars you know cars that the system that has the Android OS and also uh, other IOT devices okay uh, yeah but uh, most people use Android studio to create apps that run on the tablet on the smartphone and also the maybe the smart watches okay so over here uh, you can choose the different size of the device that you like so you can see uh, this one represent the inch okay okay diagonally and then the width the number of pixels width and the height all right okay so uh, I think we can standardize okay so we can choose pixel 2 so it has this particular resolution uh, it has this density uh, per inch okay Okay, then we can click next okay so over here uh, just allow me to explain a little bit so uh, you have to uh, you have to decide what is the version of the Android mobile OS that you want to run okay so uh, all these are okay all right so all these are fine okay uh, basically the higher you go it means that uh, you are able to see you are able to get more features in the Android OS okay so uh, that, that's the meaning of this API level okay so just like when we have our smartphone when we update the OS right after we update the OS usually we get more features okay so uh, so for example if you want to have Android OS uh, it's called Pi then you have to click on the download and then what will happen is that the next screen is going to download the a very big file probably uh, a few gigabytes okay it's going to download that file okay so my I already have Oreo uh, I think again we can standardize for COMT uh, we can use Oreo I think that is very good It's API level 27 uh, is Android version 8.1 all right so we can click next okay so I'm going to just call it pixel 2 all right and and then uh, here we can just accept the default okay you can further customize like uh, configuring the cameras on your laptop to map to the front or the back camera you can uh, so called decide to change the the RAM okay maybe to allocate more RAM if let's say your laptop is very powerful you know things like that okay but uh, I think we can just accept the defaults okay and then we can click finish all right okay so uh, some of you uh, might face a problem that is uh, when you're when you're trying to create okay uh, Okay, there's some error message about okay I can't remember is it uh, H A M X or H A X M okay but anyway it's about uh, the hardware acceleration okay so basically this error is because your Windows OS uh, or the Android Studio realized that the virtualization is not enabled okay in your Windows machine all right for Mac usually uh, there will be no problem okay so usually uh, it happened on the Windows machine because uh, for Windows machine okay uh, there are so many different companies selling Windows machine right you have uh, Lenovo you have Dell you have Asus 
IBM etc etc okay yeah so when you encounter this problem uh, you can google okay find out the solution but basically basically uh, what you need to do is that you have to go into the BIOS of your notebook okay and you have to find out which is the keyboard key to get into the BIOS and then once you're in the BIOS you have to enable the virtualization option you have to enable it okay yeah okay I think uh, probably this error will only affect okay uh, maybe just one percent of the student population all right all right okay so so it is done okay so we have our we, we have one virtual device okay uh, you do not need many okay I think one is sufficient for com T and then uh, yeah so you can see that it's taking up one gigabyte okay so as you uh, as you create more virtual devices it's, it's going to take up some this space okay from your hard disk okay then you can close it right so now you have your uh, Android virtual device ready okay so the moment you click this button run what it means is that Android studio is going to compile your app okay compile and it's going to generate uh, an APK which stands for Android package okay and then this APK is going to be delivered to your uh, virtual device okay and then you, it's going to be installed inside this virtual device okay and uh, I want you to uh, bear this in mind okay when you run your application okay you must always see that this stop button is lighted up okay and this is very important okay because when this one is lighted up it means that whatever that you have done okay it is being rendered in your virtual device okay there are many times okay students uh, run this but something went wrong okay something went wrong and the student is not aware that uh, of the, the, the student is not aware that something went wrong and the student will go on to interact with the app that is running on the virtual device okay and uh, what this means is that now if the student find anything that is not right okay then the student is on the wrong trail okay because whatever app here is not a reflection of whatever you've done here okay so uh, this is very important so therefore when you run you must make sure that it has something like that okay this one is lighter up okay then and only then you know that whatever that is running here is a true reflection of what you have done okay and therefore uh, you are able to to uh, analyze you are able to troubleshoot effectively okay because this is a true reflection of what you have done okay okay uh, one last thing okay so we have chosen pixel 2 okay so the last thing that you ought to do is that uh, in the layout okay when you go to your layout okay you should change here okay you should change to the same model okay pixel 2 okay so that you get the same width and the height okay so imagine I choose one right so you can see the width and the height is different alright so why do we want to do that Okay, the reason is because by doing this then whatever whatever uh, layout okay the dimension you know that that we design here it will be the same on your virtual device okay so it's easier for you to design your app okay and then see it happening in the same manner in the virtual device okay so so let's say uh, you have done something and you're using pixel 3 then uh, no worries okay because when you submit your work your tutor is going to have a is going to create a virtual device and use pixel 3 so that whatever that is appearing in whatever form will be in the same form in the virtual device okay uh, having said this I just want to highlight to you that uh, as a professional and successful Android developer okay uh, your whatever layout that you have designed 
must always look uh, professional, look amazing on whatever screen sizes. So if the Android phone has a large screen, your content must look good. If your Android phone has a smaller screen, your content must also look good. Okay, so that is for future. Okay, when you want to further hone your skills, okay, then this is something that you must always take note. But for COMT, uh, uh, you can set everything to be the same. Alright, so I hope everything that I mentioned here makes sense to you. And uh, thanks so much for watching. One of the best way to become better in programming is to lend a helping hand to your classmates when they encounter problems. In this way, not only you can gain more insights and hone your programming skills, you are also able to deepen your friendship with them.